So we're gonna make it quick, but we're gonna make it good, and we're gonna make it gluten-free, and of course, it's gonna be anti-inflammatory. So today we are making pasta, gluten-free pasta salad with albacore tuna and salmon, air fried salmon for the high protein and the great omega-3s that helps with PCOS, endometriosis, and adenomyosis relieve those symptoms. So let's get started. So we already have the flavor guide boiled gluten-free penne yellow pea pasta. Go ahead and add all of the air fried salmon. Add the albacore tuna. Give it a whirl. What we have for veggies, so I'm going to put in some leftover steamed broccoli, some cucumbers and some good relish and of course with the pasta salad my mayonnaise of choice is the hellman's vegan mayo grabbing a couple of seasonings from the seasoning counter. Flavor God is always a good choice for us. Just going to go ahead and lightly season it a little bit, give it some flavor before I add the wet liquid to it. Some slap your mama. Not encouraging you to do that, but I like it to have just a slight kick. I'm gonna go ahead, give it another quick stir. Again, just keeping it quick, keeping it good. It's all about mindful eating and making sure that our food is trick or treat and medicine. So I'm going to add my cucumbers that's nicely thinly sliced. Meal prepped it for the week. You hear that bell? Spencer needs to go out but he'll be okay until we finish because I like to get fresh air with him. Course we're going to stir these all up as well. So keep it nice. Right. Love a good cucumber. Right. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and add in the leftover steamed broccoli. Get the florets a little nicer. Let's slide through. Can't go wrong with some extra veggies. Broccoli is a great ingredient to keep it anti-inflammatory. 
So I typically have broccoli regularly throughout the week. interested to know what you all made tonight were you mindful of the meal that you prepared how was your eating today did you have some trigger treats to make sure that you are treating any type of symptoms you may have or just treating your mood sometimes what you eat can also affect your mood as well So definitely in the comments, let me know what you like to make or how you like to make your own pasta salad. So it's a little different for me. I've never added steamed broccoli. I've had fresh broccoli before, but never steamed broccoli. <coughs> Excuse me. Do a quick sanitation break to wash my hands. Okay. So now I'm going to add a little adobo. It's nothing like some good seasoned cucumbers. Just a little slight adobo. I like using the adobo because the adobo has turmeric in it, which is also helps with anti-inflammatory. Go ahead and garlic as well. And add in my vegan mayo. So this isn't all for me tonight. It's also going to be lunch. And some relish. I like the sweetness of the relish. Okay. So, I'm going to come back with my fork. I'm just going to use a spoon for now just to try to get it on. Kind of mixed up. See how we're doing with our consistency. Also, tell me, do you like real wet pasta salad? And you hear Spencer again using his bell. Also, let me know if you have any pets or a dog, an emotional support animal. Do they have a way of letting you know when they need to go outside or would like to go outside? Drop that in the comments as well. I'm interested to know. When I adopted Spencer, he came already bell trained, which I thought was really, really cool because the first dog I had was a boxer and he was not bell trained at all. So I like the way that he communicates. Very much appreciate that from his first uh, first owners, his first home. Looking like we're getting there. Okay. Just a little bit more mayo, just a tad, and a little bit more relish. This will be the last thing, then I'll taste it and see. Probably add a little bit of pepper. Some vinegar red. Y'all hear that sound? Do y'all like that pasta salad sound? <laughs> mm. 
You know what I'm talking about. What are your favorite ingredients in your pasta salad? Drop that in the comments as well. Let me know. I just love the versatility of salads. Like you can always change your ingredients and do different things to have a different experience. My mom and I love salads. Love salads. So definitely let us know what you're thinking. So I think I'm good on the mayo, good on the relish. Stepping away real quick to get some organic balsamic vinaigrette. Give it a little shake. Shake, 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 shake. Give my little shake on like I'm a salad shawty. Mm. little drizzle of the balsamic vinaigrette. And because I have some air fried salmon and two cans of albacore tuna, I'm gonna just top it off with a little bit of blackened seasoned. just so it can meet that salmon and tuna somewhere in the bowl. be able to get me a taste tester in the kitchen to let me know. There we go. So, let's get a good bit of all the ingredients and allow my taste tester to try it out. How is it? Mm. Is it missing anything? Mm. Would you add anything? Mm. My taste tester mm. can't speak at the moment. I like the freshness of the cucumber, that crunch and that freshness comes through. Your pasta's cooked perfectly. Thank you. Can you taste the flavor, guys? Mm-hmm. Mm. Very good. Here we are with a nice, simple, anti-inflammatory bowl of pasta. Thank you for joining me. Here's ingredient one. Oops, excuse me. Here's ingredient one. The penne yellow pea pasta. The relish. The Hellman's vegan mayo. Steamed broccoli, the albacore tuna, and air fried salmon. But let me go back to this cabinet real quick and do just a little something something to my bowl. Be right back. Make sure no one takes my bowl. Oh, oh. Damn. just like that. Thank you, subscribers for alerting me. Just a little slight. Obey. I grew up on Obey. Crab legs was my favorite. All right. I'm excited. 